Look at that. You guys want to eat anybody here? Who is that? You're coming. Here. You recognize anybody there? Who is, who is this, mommy? Who is this? No, my boy, it's me. And uh, look, you there. This is you. And this is, this this is, is me and you in Mecca. In Mecca. In Mecca. Yes. Yeah, that was you were in Mecca. And you see, up, if you can, at the bottom there, the writing is for all people, for peoples of all faiths and ethnicity, as one human family under God. All right. Uh, some things more have to go up there. And down here, something like when I left the country in 1973, a quote from the Quran, something like what you told me, that I must be a good boy, I must not drink, I must not smoke, I must only do good things. So this is a part of the Quran, the man didn't put the quote, it's Dr. 116. He's supposed to put it at the bottom there. Oh my son, even if it be the weight of a grain of a mustard seed, even though it be in a rock, or in the heaven, or in the earth, Allah will bring it forth. Surely Allah is knower of subtilities, aware. It means what is in your heart. Allah knows what is in your heart. All right? Something else got to go in here. Later on, we're going to put that up. A uh, banner with some quotes of some. And this here, this is with the blessings of His Excellency President Dr. Irfan Ali and Mrs. Arya Ali, Haji Dr. Roshan Khan, Mrs. Lachman Khan, and Nazima Khan. All right? The Guyana Islamic Forum, the CIOG, the Anna Katarina Sunatul Jamaat, that's this Jamaat here, good wishes and goodwill of the Electric Mosque, Guyana and uh, Universal Peace Federation. And all with the compliments of the Arceus family. So your son, your daughter-in-law, and myself, we build this. In your honor. So this would be your Burak. The, the craft of lightning that has raised you to paradise. Burak means speed of lightning. Power of light. Brothers, sisters, family, friends. Your wish. And most of all, my most divine and beloved special guest, Latifun Khan, my mom, to whom this edifice is constructed and dedicated for. And my sister, Nazima Khan, my daughter who traveled with her. And then she brought along her son also to help my mom, who's 90, her son. She, my beloved wife, uh, with whom all of this could not have been possible or could have not been constructed um, with her partnership, Lachmin, Mazifa, Khan, and um, all your wonderful people, sister, Bibi Khan, my beloved friend, friend Gozar, Namdar, Central Islamic Organization Vice President, um, who does tremendous for the cause of humanity and uh, for Islam, humanity, religion, and uh, like us of the Guyana Islamic Forum. He's from the Central Islamic Organization of Guyana. And all our other sisters and nieces from Guyana and overseas, my, my young um, nephew, uh, Ryan Rajiv, Dr. Ryan Rajiv Singh. He's a specialist in internal medicine and has great things to do for medicine and the world. He's stationed in London, came to see his grandmother, not my mom, so much, but the other grandmother, who is very unwell and looked after her at the best. 
So all of you, my divine friends and families, you heard quite a lot about my mother, this amazing Latin Khan, the amazing Latin Khan, my mother, for decades, over 40 years I've been writing poetry, some pieces of love, and the newspapers that keep Facebook and all the other kinds of uh, Yes. Yes. yes, yes, and all the other kinds of uh, social media. So this is the woman that those poetries and the verses of action was being written to. Uh, she brought me up with great me, Haji Dr. Ocean Khan, with great pain and travail, and if I may add, suffering and brutalities. And I've always held her in the highest of esteem, for she is the one one who really inspired me for greatness, despite the fact that at young ages of, of about one or two, my father then her husband at that time abandoned us. But she struggled and built her life. And then I have other brothers and sisters from her new family that she what into and I have a beautiful brother, my sister Nazima Khan, my brother here, and I have several others and, and, and may the creator and Lord God also bless them all. Oh, I have all the children who could not be here too, but those who are from my wife and I, they are here and I feel very happy and you feel. I must let you know that this was supposed to be a grand celebration with a fantastic program. Um, His Excellency the President wanted to, for us to do it, but then many things are against it. So we're doing a little a smaller thing for the other major event, which will be taking place sometime into the future. A major event. That is why you are you're seeing there, we will put up a beautiful shed that will include this in the in the shed so people who take pictures will be able to take it and then we will put up a fantastic shed which will not be hot and then eventually god bless me i trying to get some support but nobody in the islamic community or anywhere will support me or any islamic organization will help me so i decided to do it on my own little by little and inshallah i will get it done maybe there's a reason the lord want me to do it all but the contributions I was looking for was from their Mubak, not for this. But I will take care of it, inshallah. Allah has given me the power and the strength. Um, so, so with, with me doing a little, a little thing, we're hoping to wrap it up within an hour, hour 15 minutes. And also, I don't have many at this time. Uh, this is the third edition of the book of the poetry and pieces of action that I created, created for her and some for women and uh, women in general and also part for my wife as a lady of class, personality and style and so on. So I just got five copies here today um, but it's a beautiful book people have always loved it inshallah and we hope to do a launching of the book small but uh, it's a resplendent so, what is our aim here today? I see Bhagwan is not here, my Imam. Uh, is he here? 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 No. Okay, our Imam for the uh, Salatul Jamaat is not here, unfortunately. I wanted him to do a little dua. But we are going to really start a, it's not an official um, plan ceremony because my mom is leaving. She came for this, things didn't go well, and then. Uh, uh, I decided that we'll do a little thing, a little something like with, with people that we love, like yourselves who are here, and that we'll have a little refreshment, a little snack, uh, and then we will try, some of us might try to do a couple of casitas, uh, and maybe a couple of filmy songs if we can, because this is what this is for. This is not a masjid, this is something for social interaction. Now, why did I build this place? I built it in honor of my mother. One day I was here. There was a stage near made of a horse cart 
and there was a singer from India, but it called by the uh, compliments of the Indian High Commission, and we had hundreds of people here. And I was, I, I came in a bit late, and I was at the back, and I felt so bad that we had to have a horse cart and something made with some dark hole in plastic for a person of the caliber of a singer from India. And uh, when looking at it and looking at it, and then I had this this, this inspiration, this vision from the Creator, Lord of the Worlds of Love, that as if it's a command, and I have had these commands before. This is why arcades decided to see that I came from God in a vision when I was going to commit suicide. At one time, a depression made me. So I had that vision there of this, as Allah instructed that I should have this. That means He wants me to do it, but it was supposed to go there. But the fellow who was managing here for his own reason, in behind my back, he turned and put it here. Again, the power of vision. Because when the sun turns here, it's all worries you cook it in here. I heard he didn't want it there because his son was the football. And he changed the whole thing. Allah had given me the instruction it's supposed to be over there. So that the sun would never have bothered us. But inshallah, we're gonna do something else, we're gonna build our shed. We're gonna make it work. And this is how I am. I don't get up, give up, nor do I get depressed when things are. So I built this division the there, and I saw my mother's name as if Allah is telling me that she deserved to have something built in her name as a sadakul jariya. That will be a system by which you spend money on earth, and we have divine currency. Allah's currency because we change money to Canadian currency, US pounds, and so on. But then we want divine currency, and one of the best way to do it is through service to your mother, to your loved ones, to your parents, and humanity in general. Islam doesn't have religious discrimination, nor ethnic discrimination, race, or so So build this for social interaction, meetings, Singing, maybe one day our wonderful friend through the Indian High Commission might choose to give this area some singing. Left, left. might be a beautiful thing all over Puerto Rico. The way it is could be a fantastic thing. We will have, have yoga, we will have um, children graduation, kindergarten, nursery, we will have um, people want to give a talk, like maybe my son, uh, Director Lal, or Dr. Raj Khan, who will be do, and myself, positive motivation, character development, and so on. This is, has nothing to do with the Even though it will be pure to read, sorry, to, to, to read namaz or whatever, but it is a place also which the Hindus could use to give positive education and enlightenment, which the Christians can use without trying to convert anybody, but giving positive and educational enlightenment, the Africans, the Indians, they are for Indians, any people, any religions. This is why this was built in my mother's name. So, people, children can do their children uh, modeling. Sister Bibi Khan might want to do an Islamic children and Islamic modeling for male and female of Islamic clothes, which might be a big thing. Um, all of that could be encompassed here. Um, Singing, so we will not be allowing dancing because of the sanctity of the masjid. But we could, um, we could have talks about that and music. Music will be allowed. And this is a, a place where we always had some music. Also, I must let you know on the side there, we will put up a beautiful flower garden and over there and so on. So it'd be really beautiful and, and classy and extremely colorful. So with this in mind, this is the thought that I had when I would build this and dedicate it to this amazing mother of mine who is 90 years of age, and I will use the opportunity to show you how I honor because we are taught that women are mothers. Our mothers are God's on earth, technically. I honor her. So I frequently go down like this, and I put my head, and then she would bless me, and then I would go down and kiss her toes. So that if paradise lies on the feet of thy mother, then it is the righteous thing to kiss and honor and love her towards.
I want to uh, say a very special thank you also to all of you personally. You few who have turned up. We have invited many people, so we get as much as we could have wanted here. I'm, 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 I wish to apologize. I could not have gotten a drink. I will go opposite maybe and order the drink. See if I can get something. I had asked someone since yesterday to bring it early here for 9 o'clock, but it is not here. And I'm very disappointed. Anyhow. anyhow. So you'll be refreshed. So this was built in mind for all those things, ladies and gentlemen, friends and families, brothers and sisters, my most divine, for that purpose. To serve the community, to serve the country, to serve humanity, to serve religions, to serve ethnicities and races. The African people can come and give talks on abolition and slavery and the great contributions the Africans have done to humanity in Africa and in England and in the United States of America. The Indians can do the same thing, for example, in the Diwali season. The Diwali is teaching us which our ancestors from India started and this beautiful wisdom taking through the diaspora around the world and has captured their hearts with the message of light conquering evil, love and goodwill that uh, with perseverance, like how Sri Ram uh, was able to destroy the evil Rawan and that great, the, the, the devilish empire of Rawan destroy him, which is uh, all uh, goodness conquering, conquering evil. So, we want to move, we want to do, so I want to ask my beloved um, friend uh, Bozar Namdar, to come forward and uh, spend a few words. I want to recognize Reverend Dr. Ronald McGarrell, uh, my partner in the Universal Peace Federation in Guyana, doing tremendous work for humanity. Um, the man who rebuilt and redid this, Mr. Vincent, shake it, you raise your hand. All right, um, and got too much of work, so please don't approach him with too much work for you. All right, I got too much work to tie you down. And so, Brother Gulzar, we should have a seat for Brother Gulzar here. Thank you very much, uh, Brother Roshan. But before we start or do anything, as you mentioned, I will start with an opening supplication to bless this complex, to bless our dear mother, to bless this family, this lovely family, before we proceed with our presentation, inshallah. Now, Amin, Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim, Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen, Rahmanir Rahim. Maliki or Medin. Ya can Abu Ya can a stay in a Sirota Mustakim. Sirota Lazina Namta Lahim Karel Matubi Alahim Oladoli. Rabbana Tina Fidunia has sent over Filaki has sent over Wakinaza Bunar. Wakinaza with Tabri, Wakinaza with Fakri, Wakinaza with Hashi, Wakinaza with Dain. Rabbir Hamhuma Kamara by Ani Sagiro. Wallah Subhanahu Tala, as we are all together gathered here. This morning, on this Diwali morning, Ya Rabbil Alameen, when we are sending thanks and praise to you, we thank you for all the boons and the blessings and the favors you have bestowed on all of us, especially this family here this morning. Ya Rabbil Alameen, firstly, we want to actually set an example with this family to let other families see what is going on. Ya Rabbil Alameen, we ask you, Ya Rabbil Alameen, to other of children look and see and set an example as our brother Roshan Khan and his wife and his family and his other fa fa brothers and sisters is doing to honor their mother. Ya Rabbil Alameen, as we ask you, we bless you, we ask you to bless this, this complex here, Ya Rabbil Alameen. We ask you, Ya Rabbil Alameen, to protect it, Ya Rabbil Alameen. Ya Rabbil Alameen, we ask you to be used, Ya Rabbil Alameen, for the right purposes, Ya Rabbil Alameen. We ask you to bless this family, Ya Rabbil Alameen, all of them, Ya Rabbil Alameen, with their heart's desire, Ya Rabbil Alameen. Ya Rabbil Alameen, make life do it very easy. Let them have love and affection with this family, Ya Rabbil Alameen. Ya Rabbil Alameen, keep away anything that is destructive to their lives, Ya Rabbil Alameen, by accident, by fire, by water, Ya Rabbil Alameen, by bandits, Ya Rabbil Alameen, anything that is destructive to their lives, Ya Rabbil Alameen. We ask you to bless all the rest of brothers and sisters who came from far and near, Ya Rabbil Alameen. And take them back safely, Ya Rabbil Alameen. Ya Rabbil Alameen, the mother, Ya Rabbil Alameen, we ask you to give her contentment, Ya Rabbil Alameen. Love and affection, keep away any sickness from her, Ya Rabbil Alameen. 
Ya Rabbul Alameen, make her happy, Ya Rabbul Alameen, Ya Rabbul Alameen. Keep away anything that is destructive to all our lives, Ya Rabbul Alameen. Coronavirus and all the viruses that is coming and going, Ya Rabbul Alameen. Take it away from Guyana, from this family, from the world over, so we can continue to live as a normal life and we have a family and live as normal, Ya Rabbul Alameen. Please accept our prayers here this afternoon or uh, this morning. Our brothers and sisters, Ya Rabbul Alameen, who have gone to the great beyond, all our fathers, our mothers, our brothers, our sisters who have gone to the great beyond. We actually make their grave spacious, put that great light in your grave, give them the smell of heaven. And the day of acute, let us all get our school in our right hand, let our prophet in the seat for us all and give us all genital fear that was Ya Rabbul Alameen. We actually, our brothers and sisters who are sick in the palms, in the old homes, in some institutions suffering Ya Rabbul Alameen. Move away their sickness, and if they are so sick that they cannot recover, we actually take their life very easily, Ya Rabbul Alameen. Once again, we beseech and we beg you to bless our, our aunt here this morning, Ya Rabbul Alameen. Ya Rabbul Alameen, bless Brother Roshan Khan and his lovely wife and his children, Ya Rabbul Alameen, and his grandchildren, Ya Rabbul Alameen, and all his relations with their hearts is I, Ya Rabbul Alameen. Please accept our little meeting here this morning, Ya Rabbul Alameen. Subhana Rabbi Ka Rabbi Lizati Amaya Safoon. Wassalamu ala al-mursaleen wa alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen La ilaha illallah Muhammad Rasulullah Respected Brother Roshan, Dr. Roshan Haji Sahib Roshan Khan, our family, friend, our sister Dr. Rosh, the children Respected families of Brother Roshan Khan Not forgetting Aunt here, yeah. the mother of this morning and all the mornings. So I'm very happy and I feel very privileged. My respected brothers and sisters, I'll just go in a nutshell because I do not want to prolong. But I want to say something about this family. First, first thing, we must say that in Islam or Hinduism or Christianity, it is stated always, heaven lies in the feet of thy mother. It's not the Quran say that alone. It's not the Bhagavad Gita alone, the Bible alone. Every single book of God says, and what our brother Roshan did just now, we should take an example. My respected brothers and sisters, many of us, many of us would go to the masjid or the mandir or the church. We would go with our, our, with our bags and we would pray and we would come back and we forget our mothers. We will forget to ask our mother, Mommy, do you have a, you want a tablet to drink? Do you want to go to the doctor? They would forget them sometimes. They would pick up their fancy vehicle and go and drive with their wife and their children. And they would come back and forget to give their mother a cup of water. My respected brothers and sisters, what goes around comes around. So we should, that is the first one. We should take a page out of them. My brother book here this morning. What he is doing for his parents, not only parents, not only Muslims, but to humanity. Let me remind you, let me remind, just remind you a few instances of Brother Roshan Khan and his family. The first time I got to know him was when my son was shot and killed in 2013. There was a mass crowd confusion. And Brother Rosh uh, was there from beginning to end. He controlled and his voice and his vigor controlled the crowd because everybody was crazy. And he was there morning, noon and night with me, supporting myself and my wife. And eventually we start to get a relationship, a very close relationship. Brother Rosh associated with Batimirza, and one time, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make it like this, that we had an international procedure competition and he was present there. He was present there and the blackout in, out, in, out. And it actually didn't do justice to the best of singers. Some persons who sing well couldn't have the mic and some people, actually it was, it was a level play field. But a rose said, no, it's unfair. And I will definitely sponsor a, 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 a generator, a generator system, which can have, which can give Metimir, half of Metimir's electricity. Alhamdulillah, without a cost, he installed and everything. Well, another time he actually looked at the, at the school 
with the buses, transportation problem. He donated what, the, the 60 seater bus to the orphans. And we all know when we look at orphans, when we look at vulnerable children, to transport them to and fro. He is there. We remember the amount of criticism going to Brother Roche, Roshan Khan, when actually he sees it fit and he gives justice. He is a man not for Muslims alone. He is a man for humanity. He a man looks to justice. You can see him at any time, any place, anywhere. He stands for he's a no-nonsense person. And we all know he has a passion in his mouth. And that is what we need. So, my, uh, Brother Roche, I want to personally, on behalf of the Central Islamic Organization of Guyana, Mr. Roshan Khan, my sister, my wife, do send um, congratulations to you two because the simplicity in the whole family, we listen to Dr. Dr. Roche and the whole children. And if you, your head is good, your body will be good. But if your head is mad, your body will be mad. And there, the neck is there. The neck is there. The support is like a tank. It's like a drum of water. You're throwing in water inside. And if the drum is not good, the neck, all the water gone through. And you don't have anything when you look for water. So on behalf of myself and my family, I want to congratulate you very much for all the achievements and for what you're doing for the heaven for you. Heaven lies in the feet of thy mother. Thy mother, thy mother. And you know what? Nowadays, the young boys, them go say, Mega ask my wife. Mega ask my wife permission. Mega ask my wife permission. But now in this case, not with this case, whatever we need to do, my respected brothers and sisters, if we need our blessings, the blessings is here. Many of us actually do not have the opportunity to see our mothers, to see our fathers. Let us try to see whatever we can do to make them happy. Because if we do not see our children actually coming home at 5 o'clock and they do not come home, we do not even eat. We actually see our mothers took the wet side of the bed. She was actually uncomfortable nine months. She actually was going to the washroom. She was sleeping with us, uncomfortable. Then she gave birth to us. Then the one thing they call Hing before. Brother Roshan Khan knows about Hing. Hing. And the, the um, Red Lavinda and waiting at the, at the masjid for Jari and different things previously. Every sort of thing she did, she she actually did for us. Are we not ungrateful to her? Sometimes she actually got a stroke and sometimes she stammers. And sometimes you give a holler. You can't talk better. You can't talk better. But then when we were small, we talk the same word that she teaches us 400 times. So, my respected brothers and sisters, I do not want to move more, but now I'll, I'll render my little casita. It's a casita, but it's an old movie um, style. We do hope that you enjoy. It's um, it's it's um, concerning a mother. It's concerning the Holy Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, which we was supposed to be here for your Munabi. So I will render my kasida and then I will close inshallah. Auzu billahi min shaitan rajim. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Ridder the kidawahe sulli. Allah, Muhammad, Kawi, Zahir, Balah.